Okay, sir. Okay. I'll begin mine with an interview I had with a guy named Aldo Oriega. He's a he's one of the best wrestling coaches in Utah. He's a MMA coach. He was trained UFC fighters, Bellator fighters, and he's a local business owner off of Fairfield and Layton, Utah, called One Hit MMA behind Little Caesars. Aldo moved here 12 years ago from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Um, and I, I was talking to him because I teach a kids kickboxing class on Mondays. I asked him, I said, Aldo, what do you feel like, how do you feel like exercise has benefited you the most? It's like a triathlete and does Ironmans and things like that. And he said, you know, Mike, if it wasn't for exercise, I wouldn't be here today. And, you know, I was like, okay. You know, can, oh, what do you mean by that? And he said, you know, when I was in Brazil, there was a lot of drugs, a lot of crime, police were corrupt, and I was living on the streets. My friend was shot in the face, and so I decided to move in with my uncle and pursue kickboxing at the age of 16. By the age of 21, he won his first world championship, kickboxing um, championship, ended up winning two. And from his contacts that he was able to get from traveling around the world, he was able to move to the U.S. on a work visa, um, and now he has a family, successful business owner, so exercise has really changed his life. So we'll go over three ways that exercise changes lives. Number one, exercise makes you happier. Number two, exercise makes you smarter. Number three, exercise prevents sickness and disease. So exercise makes you happier. According to a 2012 study from the Journal of Adolescent Health, from the Center of Effective Stress and Sleep Disorder Psychiatric Hospital at a Basel, Switzerland, there was a study that conducted um, that lasted three weeks. These adolescents would run five days on, two days off for three consecutive weeks. And what they found is these kids, they, they slept a lot better sleep quality. They, um, had enhanced their concentration, and they um, alleviated anxiety and stress. Um, and so, and then they, so that was during a three week study. So you don't have to work out for three weeks to benefit, you could benefit from one single bout of exercise. According to a 2011 study published in Medicine and Science and Sports and Exercise, Researchers found even a single bout of exercise of just 30 minutes walking on a treadmill can instantly lift the mood of someone suffering from major depressive disorder. So someone who's majorly depressed could benefit from walking on a treadmill for 30 minutes. So we discussed how exercise makes you happier. Now we'll go on to how exercise makes you smarter. According to a 2011 study, what is BDNF and what does it do? from examinedexistence.com says exercise generates more nerve cells which is a protein within the cells um, which is called brain derived neurotropic factor which is responsible for concentration and memory um, and it, they say that exercise is by far the best way to increase your BDNF levels which will enhance your concentration um, and also in a 2007 study by the Department of Neurology, University of Münster, Germany, it says BDNF is needed for effective learning. And vocabulary learning was 20% faster after an intense exercise work, workout. Excuse me. Okay, so the third reason exercise improves lives is exercise can prevent sickness and disease. So in a 2012 study published um, at the British Journal of Sports Medicine. They did a study, they say people who exercise five days a week of aerobic activity, they're 43% less likely to get upper respiratory tract infections. Um, and then um, the Department of Public Health and Social Work from Slippery Rock University, Pennsylvania, published in Nutrition Research says exercising outdoors allows you to absorb vitamin D. And unfortunately, most of us spend our times indoors. 
Um, and so 41% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D. And being deficient in vitamin D, there's a mountain of evidence that deficiency, deficiency can lead to chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease and cancer. So we looked how exercise makes you happier, how it makes you smarter, and how it prevents sickness and disease and overall well-being in your life. So the good news is disease is preventable, sickness is preventable. Um, and if you do exercise, you're less likely to miss work, you're less likely to miss school. So, which means you'll make more money for you and your family. You'll get better grades because you can attend class and you can study. Um, and there's been a lot of studies that say it can actually extend your life, even for people who smoke cigarettes for years. So there's one thing that money can't buy, and it's loved ones with your family and, uh, and memories. And so um, for me, if you could extend, or for you guys, if you could extend your life a couple years and you're able to have more memories with your family, I can't think of anything more beneficial in your life than exercise. So for those reasons, I believe exercise changes lives.